Hey everybody, it is uh, Tuesday, September 5th, 2017. Welcome to Morning Hair. Look at this. Is this great or what? Uh, I'm going to call this the Red Dragon. Not after the uh, the Thomas Harris book. No, no, no. The Red Dragon was a ship that in 1607 actually performed a version of Hamlet for some local chiefs off the coast of Sierra Leone. Uh, you know, go figure. Hamlet, it'll sell. And this was 1607. Shakespeare was still alive, but this particular merchant ship uh, the captain was a big fan of the bard, and he brought along a copy of Hamlet, which he instructed his crew to learn, which they did, and performed for the elucidation of some local chieftains for, you know, some elephant tusks and a few hundred thousand lemons. Uh, it just goes to show you, when you wake up with a red dragon, that means you're going, uh, if you are if you happen to find yourself in an unfamiliar situation, hey, you're going to be fine. It's not like doing Hamlet to people who can't speak English. No, that's a task for you. Uh, so... Today, I am starting my new teaching assignment here uh, in Accomack County, and I get to share the well story with uh, a whole new group of kids, which is going to be great. Really terrifying on the first day of school. Uh, so, if you wake up with, uh, you know, the red dragon, I don't know, uh, be, be bold uh, and resolute. And I know that's from, be bloody bold and resolute. That's from, that's the wrong play. That's Macbeth. But... Uh, I'm going to have some fun today, and I'm looking forward to that that last summer because it's not long now before I take that final summer vacation that just goes on into eternity. Then it'll be morning hair all day long with afternoon hair and early evening hair. Ah, it'll be great. Hey, have a good day, everybody. Tennessee, stop. Back my heart.